Lady Charming Giraffe and today we are going to do a Dutch pour on coast tiles for coasters. Um, just doing two here because I haven't really done this technique at all very much. I've done it one time on a canvas and it didn't turn out fabulous. So we're going to try it on a black one and on a white one and these are both Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. They're actually all. I'm only using black, white, red, yellow, and blue. Red, yellow, blue, you know your colors. Um, <laughs> and so we'll see how this works. Um, so yeah, we will just do one at a time. And let's go ahead and give it a go. We make a little pile of paint over here. I am using the mini leaf blower. Super cute, I know. Okay. And then we have a ton of white left. Pour some right here and then give it my go. All right, not a lot of control here. So we're going to try better over here. <laughs> Um, let me torch it because there is some cool things happening, but it's just very, um, over mixed. Oh gosh, this is so pretty. It's just slightly over, like I lost a lot of the color from the wind <laughs> as well as, um, everything's lightened because the white took over versus some really sharp colors that I was going for. So I may actually try this again on the white. I think I can do better, but I am very happy with it. So no disappointments here. We'll do the black one next. I also am going to do more in the middle. Just because I don't want it to all go on the table again. Get some more red in here. I am liking it. You can actually see on the edge here, and I'll bring you in for a close-up at the end. But you can see those vibrant colors that I was kind of hoping for, but didn't get because of kind of the over blend with the white. But hey, we are just learning here. I'm slightly less hopeful with the black colors because it just tends to darken everything up. So we'll have to just see what happens. actually got some white in here but yeah everything kind of gets way 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 dark with the black even when you're doing acrylic pouring like on a canvas sorry this is technically acrylic pouring so well oh man why'd I do that why okay What do we have to lose? What do we have to lose? Let me grab one more coaster and we'll do this again with the white. So we've got that. We'll go ahead and start with our colors. And again, like the black, I'm gonna do in the middle or more in the middle than the first time. And the reason why I'm doing two layers is just so I can try to get all of the colors because the red isn't touching the blue if I only do one layer. I 
also think this little tool, whereas it is cute, might not be the best tool for this job. My little air blower. But let's try it. One last time, here we go. Torch this now. And again, this side, you can just see all the vibrancy here. It's so pretty. But so not exactly what I was hoping for at the same time. All right, let me bring in for a close up. So here was the first one we did and that I accidentally dropped, dropped some black on. But here are these very vibrant colors over here. And this is kind of what I was hoping for throughout the whole thing. So I think I'm just maybe using too much white. But I know you kind of have to have a little bit. So, yeah. But yeah, really pretty. Love all the cells. Have to continue to work on this technique. Here's the one we did with the black. It's definitely more vibrant on this camera than it is in real life. But still pretty. Just dark because obviously we're using the black. And then here's the last one we did. There's the vibrant colors over here. Everything else is kind of pastel because of the white. Do some bright colors, clusters, but then all the wispiness is lighter blues, pinks, and purples. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And do what makes you happy.